Kim at Team Property Mom and I am here at La Belle Fromage and we're going to go inside and talk to Paula and Michelle, the owners. And uh, this is an amazing little shop, has all kinds of gourmet foods as well as cheese. So exciting. Let's go in and take a look. I'm Rochelle Clement, mm -hmm. Paula Hall, and we own La Belle Fromage. I'm actually a registered nurse and I ran another company for 16 years. And I was just looking to do something, it was a bucket list thing, just to do something on my own without people trying to help me do it. So um, I said it was going to have nothing to do with food. I always liked going to stores like this growing up. Um, I, we used to always go to Quebec every summer as a kid. So we always found the little nooks and crannies with the mom and pop places in the back roads and that kind of thing. And then I'm like, well, I like cheese, so why don't we just start with that and see where it goes? And it just, one thing led to another. And in the meantime, Paula was doing a food blog. Then I called her up and I said, you know, hey, like I've got all this cheese and why don't you come up with a few things and maybe just recipes. Like, so yeah. I just started off making recipes for yeah. her. And then, then I started going to events with her and then she goes, I don't think I'm getting rid of you. And then that was it. <laughs> We found this location by accident, actually, when we were almost going to sign papers in the other one. We found it on Facebook, honestly, like at the last minute. We were doing an event out in Kingsville, driving past, back home, and I said, oh look it, this one is up for lease. And um, then we just ended up, we did. A we drove turn around. in an hour, like half hour, drove straight here and Okay. And then, thank goodness we did because five more people came that afternoon after us. We do attend like different uh, food shows that have been held in Toronto. Um, we went to one in Montreal that was really good. Um, we seem to be have a knack for um, identifying up and coming people and products that are going to be successful like a few of the businesses since we started carrying the products have actually just skyrocketed um, are across North America now. Just by driving around, going to different places, um, identifying things at uh, different food shows that we have gone to, meeting the people that make them, finding out their stories. We're primarily um, Ontario but it does extend across Canada and with our cheeses we have extended as well to um, international so we have Ontario, Quebec and international cheeses. We don't have a menu and it's not that we fly by the seat of our pants we like to do things that are fresh and we are both quite creative when it comes to cooking and even a little bit of baking um, so we like to be free with that and not feel like we have to be married to a menu because there's a lot of redundancy in that. People get bored, we would get bored. That's what makes this business interesting. So we did a retail concept, so we do things to go. That way it keeps that open-ended um, concept for people. Yeah. People actually like it. Like they, And we have a really interesting sense of humor between the two of us too so we always put something quirky on Facebook that's catching. We actually have people that wait for it every morning. But yeah. we do like you know, sandwiches, soups, salads, and stuff, yeah. and then so that they can just, as they're walking past, mm -hmm. they can just pick up a to-go something yeah. to go. We for always the have day. something you can, or it's something you can pick up for dinner. So. Well, we chose Bell River. I did grow up out here. There isn't a lot here as far as local products. Like everybody's traveling outside of the town. Uh, we have a beautiful. Marina, we, we are trying to improve the whole cosmetics and feel of Bell River because we do have a lot to offer. So it was nice to be able to bring some things in and it took a little bit of uh, growing pains and people growing from like marble cheese to now eating a lot more variety and that kind of thing. But um, there's just a lot of opportunity here. So it was, it was like, I guess a personal and emotional decision, but it was also a business decision. specialty shop. If you want to visit them, they are in the middle of Bell River and uh, they have a lot of cool, cool stuff to check out. See you soon!